Hey everybody, what's up? Today we are be going. Hey everybody, what's up? Today we are going to make a quesadilla for our lunch. Does that yeah, sound good? Yeah. Um, I make quesadillas all the time. They're super simple. It's actually a vegetarian quesadilla. I'm not vegetarian at all, but with everything that goes into it, it's still really, really filling. I've actually made this before and I've added things such as beans or chicken or beef, and it actually becomes almost too much. Like it's super, super filling if you have to add that stuff. So that's an option, but I just prefer the vegetarian version because it's perfectly filling on its own. All right, so you ready to help? Yeah. All right, so we're gonna cut up. What do we need to cut up here? Peppers. Can yeah. have some peppers? Okay, so what goes into this particular quesadilla is obviously tortillas. Tortilla. And then I like to use pepper jack cheese. This, unfortunately, we have to shred because we don't have this particular pepper jack cheese at our store that comes pre-shredded. So I've gotta shred some of this up. Um, we have some chopped green onions. Can I see? Sliced green and red peppers, and lots and lots of spinach. We just pile all this onto the tortillas and make it up. So we'll do that right now. Let's start with the red one. You want to start with the red one? All right. We're going to cut this, and we're only going to use half of this. You actually don't need too much of the peppers. Okay, so we cut all this, cut this seed core out. So basically, I'm gonna give Brendan a little bit to cut here too. You can cut that. Why don't you, you use your butter knife, use the other knife, you can cut that into, into pieces, okay? And everybody knows that is a butter knife. It's a butter knife. It's just a butter knife. Just for him to cooperate and participate. <laughs> so he can play along. I'm gonna use the real knife and just cut, I'm gonna cut the peppers into long strips because we want them to, when I lay them down on the quesadilla, I want them to stretch as far across the tortilla as possible. All right, and you don't need a ton because we're gonna do green and red peppers and they basically just cover one tortilla. So that's about all you all you need. Okay, you wanna cut, that's for you to cut. And same thing with the green pepper. I'm just gonna cut this into very narrow strips. Brendan's snacking now, which is perfectly fine. Like I showed you before, the onions, these are already pre-cut. And now I've got to shred some cheese up, so I'm gonna do that. Can I see what the shredder looks like? This is a pound of cheese, and I just kind of guesstimate, but I would probably cut about, yay, much of that, so maybe like a third. Actually, you can kind of, you can kind of gauge when it's in the bowl, too, um, if, you need, if you need more. I'm gonna do about this much off of the one pound block. You wanna taste a little bit of the cheese? Yeah. All right, here. I'll give me some. Good. Is it good? Is it spicy at all? No? All right. Well, good. Can I see the shred where we shred? This is where we shred it. No, this, yeah. Are you sure you don't shred there? I'm just shredding, so it goes straight into the bowl. Where the cheese goes. <laughs> See it going down in? It, it smells very good. Yeah, it's very, it's very so so yummy. So so <laughs> yummy. Whoa. All right, we got down to the end of the cheese here. Brendan can have the last little crumbles of cheese. Mm -hmm. All right. So let's see how much this is. Okay, this should be enough. This should be plenty. I like to use a lot of cheese on the quesadillas because it's what helps bind everything together so when you flip it over, stuff doesn't go flying, it stays nice and glued. All right, so here's the skillet. I just put some cooking spray down and start to heat. That's blue fire. Blue fire, yeah. It's blue fire. All right, so that'll take just a second to heat up. Um, get our tortillas out. All right, so um, I just pulled out two tortillas and they don't really match up in size. Uh, <laughs> This one, I'm not really sure what you're supposed to do with that. Maybe I'll save that for a taco or something later. Uh, let's try to find one that's... Okay, we're not having much luck here. Let me find, pull this one out of the bottom, this might be better. Okay, well, it's a little bit better. So obviously with a quesadilla, you want your tortilla sizes to match up so the stuff doesn't fall out. All right, and that Don't just goes straight into hand. the skillet. Don't burn your hand. I won't burn my hand, thank you. And then... Don't, don't get too much cheese. Okay, you just put a layer of cheese on the bottom. Does the blue thing burn the underside? 
Yeah, it's cooking the bottom of it right now. And, and it goes back up. Yeah. Okay, so we have a nice layer of cheese. Uh, the, next, I do the, the onions. The rest is for me, right? Uh, I do a nice layer of the green onions. Can I make my own quesadilla? I like doing the onions. I do the onions right on top of the cheese because it kind of nestles in. These can just kind of roll all over the place if they're not kind of mushed in. On top of that goes the peppers. Like I said, they're nice and long, as long as they can be. The green ones aren't that long, but uh, let's just go across. You can just lay them out here. You can notice the cheese is melting now. All right, and then next comes spinach. This is the kind of awkward part. You just kind of pile it up on here. And it's, unfortunately, the spinach tends to have kind of long stems, which makes it hard to pile up nicely in the quesadilla, but we'll do okay here. It's a nice big pile of spinach, and then just some more cheese. And just layer that right on the top of the spinach. I have a little too much spinach here, but that's okay. So I used up all my cheese, if I needed it. I'm gonna take my other tortilla, put it on, and just smush it right on there. And unfortunately, I did put on a little too much spinach, so I'm gonna pull some of this out. It's just gonna cook in the skillet here. Now this has been cooking, the bottom tortilla has been cooking for a few minutes now, so let me get my widest spatula we have, because we definitely wanna yeah. give this a little support. I'm gonna check the bottom. Okay, oh, the bottom's already nice and brown, so unfortunately, the top has not gotten as melty and gluey as I'd like. <laughs> that sounds gross as I'd like, but I don't want the bottom to get too brown, so I'm gonna do a nice flip, thump. There we go. And now all the cheese on the bottom can melt. Okay, so I've checked the bottom. It is nicely browned. All right, so there it is. Let's peel it off. Okay, it is a beautiful quesadilla. I'm gonna let it sit for just a minute so it can congeal, solidify, whatever you wanna call it so it's not quite as runny, and then I'm gonna cut it and we will taste it. Okay, so this has been sitting. I am now going to cut it. All that spinach I put in there got nice and kind of smushed down. As you can see here, I'll cut it into quarters. So the spinach, the peppers, the onions, the cheese, everything just holds together really nicely. I like to have a little salsa. Let's do a little salsa right there. I have my tapatio sauce, my hot sauce, and I have lime really good you have your quesadilla you put a little salsa on it you have a little salsa just do a little dab Ooh, it's probably more than is more than is safe a little tapatio a little squirt of lime Ooh. 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 so it's really good I don't know if you can hear me crunching but the peppers stay nice and crunchy the tortillas are nice and crunchy the cheese just holds everything together. The salsa is cold. The tortilla is hot. The tapatio gives it a little extra kick. The lime gives it a little extra acid. And overall, it's just a really good dish. And it's vegetarian. I'd like to say it's healthy, but you saw the amount of cheese I put in there, so I can't really say it's healthy. But it does have a lot of spinach in it and peppers and you know vegetables and stuff like that. So yeah, there you go. It's a really Good. I'm making this for lunch today, but normally I have this for dinner. It's a really big filling meal. And like I said before, you can add beans, you can add you know, kidney beans or pinto beans or whatever. Um, if you have any ground beef or chicken or anything like that, it works perfectly well in here. Uh, it just does make it that much more filling. And if you've used the amount of cheese and spinach and all that that I've used, then this is enough right here. So um, that's it. Those are quesadillas that I make all the time. I absolutely love it. So give it a try and see if you love it too. That's it. Thank you so much for watching. Please like and subscribe and we will see you next time.